Okay, so jump back here. Remember we begin by saying that a presentation in English is very much like a presentation in your research writing. If you've looked at your research writing, every week I'm always saying, get your main point up top, get your main point up front, get your main point in the first paragraph, in the first sentence even, get your main point. A presentation is very much the same. The sooner you can get your main point up front, the more people will be interested in your main point. And then everything else follows from your main point. So the sooner you can do that, the better. However, uh, normally, most presentations, I would say 90% of presentations do not do this. 90% of presentations, they give the main point way, way, way later. And so people get lost, right? So we want to get the main point up front. And here are some examples of some main points, right? We talked about our, our market position. We talked about our competition. Very, very clear, very straightforward. Okay. Now remember we said making the presentation is like taking a journey, right? Here's the beginning, here's the end. We need to get from the beginning to the end. So how do you structure your presentation to go from that beginning to that end? That's kind of the key point we're going to talk about in this chapter today. So what do we call that? We call that making a system. What's your system to get from beginning to end, from start to end? What is your system? And I like this idea. It's like a road map. It's like a road map, right? It's like a map telling you how to get from A to B how to get from start to end. And that's a good way to remember it. Design your system. Get your key idea, right? Not just a list. And a good presentation includes those things that also have a system that brings it forward. So today, before we go much further, I want to talk about systems. So what I would like to do is I would like to open a Google Doc. Should I use a Google Doc or a, or a Excel or a Google Sheet? Maybe I'll open a Google Sheet. And then each of you can take your outline and put it into the Google Sheet. That's not a good idea. So let me escape from here and come over to our page over here, okay, and maybe I can just add it here, everybody can access this, this document, right, so maybe I can just add pages here, one page for everyone, okay, let me try that. So, let me add a Google Doc here. So everyone can access this document, right? Look, I'm going to open up a tab for every one of you. And then I want you to quickly put in your outline for the first assignment, which was buying an ice cream, right? So simple, right? Easy idea. OK, let me put your names on here. Hold on. Um, can you change the names of the sheets, or only I can change the names? If you can change the names, everyone grab one tab. No. Change the name to your name. Can no. you change the names? No. You got it? I got it. Excellent. Okay, grab an empty tab. If there's no more empty tabs, push the plus button. Makes another empty tab. And you can uh, put your name on. Just put your, just your short English name. And then go ahead and inside of there, put your outline. 